guys, my name is Naomi. If you're new here, I make videos on my journey to becoming an entrepreneur and I am starting a candle business. So we're gonna get right into this video, okay? Um, I am going to be making my own candle jars, which are going to be out of concrete. So I have ordered everything. I actually did an unboxing, which I will tag above. If you guys want to go see that, I unboxed everything that I purchased for this transition that I'm making because I was originally making um, candles with glass jars. So I am now transitioning to the concrete and I'm excited because today is the day I get to make them. And I have the lids here. These are the molds. I mean, I have the molds and I bought two of them. And I bought two of the, um, the candle jar molds. So I have the lids and the molds. So I am going to be showing you guys that today. I also went to Home Depot and I purchased um, the cement because I didn't have that. So I purchased the cement. It's called Cement All. Um, I did a lot of research. So a lot of other candle makers use Cement All as their... Um, as their mix for their cement so I'm going to test that out today um, I'm gonna to show you guys a video of me getting the cement all how am I gonna get this oh boy this is what I need okay they have a small one I'm gonna get this so i was in a rush that day you know um this past weekend was a really hectic and i had <laughs> i was like this was the last thing i had to do before i went home and so i went to home depot and i was looking for someone to um to help me and there was like barely anybody there and um so when I found somebody, he was like extremely rude. Like I was telling him, I was like, um, do you know where the cement all is? And he's like, the what? I was like, the cement all? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, wait a minute, am I saying it wrong? I don't think I'm saying it wrong. I think maybe you don't know what you're talking about. He was like, he asked me, he was like, um, you sure you know what you're talking about? Cause every time I go on Home Depot, I feel like the guys there they feel like us as women we don't know what we're talking about when in reality i've done my research before i've gone to home depot so me asking you where it is i know what it is i just need to know where it is because i already had checked the website and the website said that it was here so he didn't he was acting like like what like i was speaking a different language i was like all right, he was like, because I work in the lumber department, so I didn't, I have never seen that before, and there's cement over there. I said, okay, so where's the cement? And then he pointed to where the cement was, so I went over there. Guess what? There was a whole big thing of cement hall. Oh, my God. Anyway, so, um, I just had to vent that out, because that was so annoying. Like, don't act like I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? I've done my research. Sir. So anyway, so I got that. Let me see where is it. Oh, I got the water too. So we need distilled water. I so I got distilled water, and whoa, mama, mama. Okay, this is heavy. <laughs> I didn't realize how heavy it was. I was actually, if you saw in the video, I was looking at the big thing. I was, I wanted to just get that, but um, this that was too heavy. I couldn't even like lift that. This was heavy enough. Just getting this from there to the back, to the front. So, yeah. So we're gonna open that up. I actually bought a bin from Target that I'm gonna put it in because. I don't want this on my floor, so I've got I got a bin, just a temporary one, because I want to get like a whole setup from for from IKEA of like when I buy the big one. So we're gonna we're gonna open this up. 
Um, I'm going to get a better view of it. I'm probably going to do it on this back table um, so that you guys can get a better view um, of me making my candles. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into this. I started setting up to make these jars and I realized I need to make some coffee. So you guys are gonna come with me to make some coffee. This is actually my first time making coffee at home. I usually go to Starbucks and uh, spend a crazy amount of money on a latte every day. So I said, you know what, let me try to buy something that will work for me. So I bought this little mocha pot, which is so cute. And um, I was actually going to buy an espresso machine, but I realized I don't have any space for that. So let me buy something that's a little bit more um, smaller and more affordable. I actually got this recipe from Pinterest. I think it was a white chocolate mocha. This frother was amazing. I was so surprised. I was like, oh my God, it's, it's like so cool. So I'm like addicted to this now like I make this literally every day I actually tweak the recipe I do the steamed milk and the frother and then I put a little bit of a little bit of jazz on there now let's get back to work so I got my pigments and I picked these four colors I'm actually going to be mixing them together I got my little mask so that I can be protected because you cannot inhale cement particles. So I am going to be as careful as I possibly can through this process. I have to measure everything like I do with my candle wax. Um, I am not going to be measuring the pigments. I'm just going to do it by the tablespoon and I am just testing out what could work. Like, I don't know what's going to work. I don't know. I'm trying to see. I actually did this again recently and realized that I put too much green. I don't want as much green. I want a little bit more blue. So this, um, this one came out a very Shrek green, a little too Shrek-y for me. Putting in this water was so scary to me. Like I was like so hesitant. This is sped up a little bit so, but I was like very hesitant and like moving very slow. Cause I was like, oh my God, what's happening? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Cause I watched so many videos about this and I was like, oh my God, like I'm actually doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> and I was trying to make sure I get the like right consistency because it needs to be like a pancake like consistency which was a little bit confusing because I like my pancakes thick and I was like okay it can't be thick like I like my pancakes so I'm gonna have to make it a little bit more runnier so that it can go down the mold and um, I learned this little technique I'm supposed to be tapping 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 until the air bubbles get out so that there's no bubbles surrounding the jar. So I realized that I did not have enough for the lid, which was so disappointing. 
but um that's why i had added more concrete to this other one because i had added the same amount so i added more so that i can see because i need to find out how many grams i need for the jar and the lid together because i have to make sure i mix them together so i'm trying out this color i'm actually looking for like a a, a brown with like a little bit of like like a warm brown like a little bit of orange in it um it, you know it came out a lot darker because i put a lot of pigment in it but you guys will see that at the end but it looks like it looks like i'm mixing like chocolate like chocolate syrup chocolate you know melted chocolate Next time I do this, this angle, I will try to switch up the angles. Um, this is my first time making these um, concrete jars. So I was kind of just like trying to film, but make them at the same time with, without like trying to have to think about other things, like other um, positions. And that's kind of what I did because I wanted to, I was just kind of focused on like, oh my God, I'm making these for the first time. So for sure next time i'm gonna try to do different angles because you know it's just it's just one So this one came out a lot thicker because I think I was um, mixing it too long because I was trying to get the stuff at the bottom and so it was mixing for longer than it needed to and it started hardening. So it came out a little bit more thicker than I wanted. It's definitely not, it's definitely the pancake consistency that I normally use. <laughs> Not the one that they are telling me to use, but that's the, normally the consistency that I make my pancakes. I'm making uh, another little batch just so that I can fill up the void of this lid because I need to see how the lid actually looks. And I didn't have enough, so that's why i'm making a little bit i didn't i didn't add any color to it i just wanted to hurry up and <laughs> mix this together and put it in the lid oh my god I'm so excited. I had to put these little black things around it. I don't know what they're called. And um, it's supposed to keep it from like shifting in shape. So yeah, excited about this, oh my God. Even though this is, didn't come out the way I wanted, I just want, it was like first time opening, taking it out was so cool. This was a little bit more complicated. I had to look back at the lid. If you guys hear sirens in the back, just a reminder, I live in Manhattan, so I cannot control the sound. Look at this. I tried so hard, and it just kept popping back. My son is trying to help me. He's trying to tell me how to do this, like as if he knows. Um, <laughs> I was like really struggling with this. Like I was really struggling. 
um i hope that i can make this a little bit more effortlessly later on but um yeah this was a little bit difficult i was like i had to put this back to the camera figure it out back there because i'm like wait a minute something ain't right all right so i'm probably gonna do it asmr of this because that little pop sound when you take that out it sounds so amazing the struggle is real and that bottom looks terrible <laughs> that's because i didn't have enough so it came out looking like that it's okay because this shrek green even though it's kind of pretty i'm not gonna lie it's a little pretty shrek looks a little pretty um but that's not the color i want yeah we are gonna have to make sure that I don't look like that later Okay, so this was the final product. I am going to be making some more because I have to get the color correct, okay? You guys see this like glow? This The ring light is giving me like a little glow. It's so beautiful. I love it. I'm so glad that I bought it. I thought it was gonna be like a waste, but I think when I do my little sit down talks with you guys, um, it's a good way for you to see, you know, the glowiness. Um, and then I'm probably going to use this ring light for when I'm doing like products, opening boxes or, um, when I'm making candles. Cause I think it probably just gives a good lighting from above. And I love the fact that it actually turns this way. So you can put the camera there and have it above. So that's amazing. So guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I am going to be, actually making the candles with the candle wax and the wick so I can see how it works um, but I do need to get the sealant first so I figured out actually I did a lot of research on what sealant I should get I figured out which one so I am going to be um, actually purchasing that today actually I think I'm gonna order it on Amazon and because um, I have to seal the jars first and then I can put the wax in and then yeah, so that'll be my next video. Um, I'm excited to see how it all comes out, like it all looks together because it's it looks pretty cool now. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you guys have any advice, anybody that does make concrete candles and can give me advice, maybe you saw me doing something wrong, please let me know. I am a sponge. I like to absorb advice because i want to perfect my profession which is now a candle maker so i love to perfect my profession and i of course i love to get better with time so please like and subscribe comment below notification bell <laughs> i bet you this gets so annoying for some youtubers like at some point, you guys are going to just love me so much that you're just going to do it anyways, right? Right? Like, I don't, I, I should, I, I, I don't have to ask, right? <laughs> anyways, thank you guys so much for staying this long on this video. I will see you in the next video. Bye!